guys today I will be sharing mango mousse cake so after about several tries I'm finally ready to share a mango mousse cake that you'll be happy to serve to your guest for the ingredients we need 1 third cup plus 2 tablespoon of cake flour half a cup of sugar 20 grams of butter 3 eggs 25 ml of fresh milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla first thing we need to do is to preheat the oven at 170 degrees celsius line an 8 inch round cake pan with parchment paper at the bottom and at the sides combine the milk and the butter um, melt it in the microwave and set aside the hot water at the bottom of the bowl is optional. Um, this will just make the mixing process easy and creates more volume. So combine the eggs and the sugar. Beat until it reaches um, ribbon stage. You know that it's ready it, when you um, leave the um, beater and the pigs um, fully disappeared about 8 seconds. So so this is now ready the next step is to sift in the cake flour then just fold it gently At this point, we're going to add the vanilla into the butter and milk mixture, give it a mix, and then add this quickly to the egg flour mixture. Oops, I spilled a little bit. And now we're going to transfer this into the prepared pan. And then we will bake this in a preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until when you insert the toothpick in the middle and the toothpick comes out clean. Um, bake it at 170 degrees Celsius. And this is what it looks like after baking. Now let it cool down completely in a wire rack. Now we're gonna make the um, mango mousse while this is cooling. So all in all, I use about 6 mango. Once you see this type of mango, grab it because this is the best mango to use for this mousse recipe. So now we're going to puree the uh, mangoes. We need about 1.5 cups. So once you finish pureeing the mango, we're going to um, strain it to remove some fibers. We don't want fibers in the mousse. Again, you need about one and a half cups of pureed mango, one third cup of hot water, one and a half tablespoon of unflavored gelatin, half a cup of sugar, two cups of whipping cream, and one and a half cups of pureed mango. First thing we need to do is to um, combine the hot water and gelatin, give it a mix, and set this aside. In a pot, combine the mango and the sugar. Make sure that your mango is sweet as well. And um, taste this. Make sure that this is really sweet because once you add the whipping cream, um, it will dull out the sweetness. So half a cup of sugar is really important to this. Once it starts boiling, my um, heat, by the way, is a medium to low heat. Once it starts um, boiling, we can add the um, unflavored gelatin. And then we can turn off the heat and we will let this cool down completely. While the mango pureed mango is cooling down, it's time to whip the um, whipping cream we're gonna um, mix this until it reaches the stage just like so 
um, by this point my uh, mango puree is still hot so I'm gonna move on into cutting the cake because now cut the cake in half And then we're gonna use a spring form pan, slightly bigger than the cake. Once the um, pureed mango has completely cooled down, we're gonna get a little bit of the whipping cream to the pureed mango to lighten it up, just like so. And then pour the rest of the pureed mango into the whipping cream using a folding method mix the mixture until they are just combined you don't want to over mix this or you will deplete the whipping cream taste it if it's sweet enough it needs to be sweet then pour half of the mousse into the cake make sure that it goes to the side as well so that it will cover the cake um, completely now put the other half of the cake on top of the mousse and then the, put the rest of the mousse on top of the cake now fully cover the cake make sure that you're push, pushing the mousse onto the side again and then we will let this rest in the fridge while we move on to the mango jelly i've got one tablespoon of hot water in here two tablespoon of sugar one teaspoon of unflavored gelatin and one third cup of pureed mango that i've strained as well Begin by combining the gelatin and the hot water. This is the same process as we did before. So I also have one tablespoon of water that I, that I um, used to clean the um, measuring cup. Then add this to the mango puree as well. So we don't waste any of the mango puree then add the two tablespoon of sugar um, the list of the recipe will be at the description box once it starts boiling again add the gelatin and turn off the heat and let it cool down completely before adding it on top of the mango mousse after about 20 to 30 minutes um, the mango mousse is set on top now we're gonna add the mango jelly make sure that the mango jelly has cooled down or else it's gonna melt the mango mousse and then we will let this rest in the fridge to fully set for about four hours to overnight cover it with cling wrap then again let it rest in the fridge i let mine rest for about five hours and now i'm ready to unmold the mango mousse cake using a spatula i'm just running it down on the sides of the spring form pan I'm just gonna transfer this to a cake plate and this is what the mango cake looks like and then just to show you what it looks like inside when you cut the cake
this mango mousse cake is really good I tried so many recipes so I come up with my own and this is really good I promise you but make sure that you choose the right mango as well because the flavor and everything depends on the mango thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't done so i'll see you again next week bye